Hello friends, welcome to this exercise on how to verify the terminals, identify components and determine the transformation ratio in single phase transformer. At the end of this video, you will be able to interpret the nameplate details of a single phase transformer, identify HT and LT windings, determine the transformation ratio by the voltmeter and ammeter method. Let us arrange the equipment and materials required to do this exercise. Voltmeter moving iron, ohm meter, digital multimeter, ammeter moving iron, ammeter moving iron 100 milliampere, voltmeter moving coil. 3 pin sockets with switch push button switch DC supply single phase transformer auto transformer connecting wire identification of terminals LT refers to low tension or low voltage HT refers to high tension or high voltage. Set the digital multimeter in resistance mode at low range. Place the probes between two ends of the primary side and note down the resistance value in the tabulation. In the same way, place probes across secondary terminals and note the resistance value in tabulation. Determine the HT and LT windings by measuring resistances with the multimeter. Note. HT side resistance will always be high resistance and LT side resistance will be low resistance. From the measured resistance value, it is found that primary is the HT side and secondary is the LT side. Connect the DC supply to the HT through a push button switch and connect the moving coil voltmeter ranging from 0 to 15 volts to the LT as shown in circuit diagram. Mark HT terminals as a1 and A2. Mark LT terminals as A1 and A2 as shown. Press the push button switch. Observe the deflection of the pointer of the voltmeter at the LT side. If the pointer deflects in the right direction, retain the markings made on the terminals. Change the voltmeter connections made to LT terminals and change the markings made on LT terminals if the deflection is in the reverse direction. Now press the push button switch once again and observe that the voltmeter reflects in the right direction. Verification of transformation ratio by voltmeter method. Connect the single phase auto transformer to the single phase 50 Hz 240 volts AC supply through 3 pin sockets with a connected earth point. Connect the single phase ordinary transformer primary side to the auto transformer. Connect the red knob of the auto transformer to the A1 terminal and the black knob to the A2 terminal. Connect the voltmeter V1 ranging from 0 to 300 volts parallel to the primary winding and the voltmeter V2 ranging from 0 to 150 volts parallel to the secondary winding to measure the primary and secondary voltages respectively. Check and set the auto transformer at 0 volt output position. Switch on the circuit and adjust the auto transformer to get the output voltage V1 equal to 100 volts and read V2. Record the value in table. The output voltage of the auto transformer should be adjusted to about 50% of the rating of the HT side. Set the V1 value for the values indicated in table and record the corresponding readings of V2 in table. Calculate the transformation ratio from the measured V1 and V2 values. Applying the formula, transformation ratio K is equal to V2 by V1. Compare the calculated transformation ratio with the transformation and ensure the transformation ratio is same for all readings. Verification of transformation ratio by ammeter method. Connect the single phase auto transformer to the single phase 50 Hz 240 volts AC supply through 3 pin sockets. Connect the single phase ordinary transformer primary side to the auto transformer. Connect the red color knob of the auto transformer to the A1 terminal and the black knob to the A2 terminal. 
connect the auto transformer output to the transformer HT winding that is primary side through a moving coil milliampere ranging from 0 to 500 milliamps. The current in the HT winding should be kept low but should be large enough to be measured accurately with a milliammeter. Connect the moving ion ammeter ranging 0 to 10 amperes in series between LT winding that is secondary side as shown. The ammeter should carry the rated current of LT side. Use the current transformer and ammeter if the secondary rating is very high. Ensure the knob in the auto transformer is at zero voltage position. Switch on the circuit and in auto transformer gradually increase the voltage to give the required current I1 in HT winding that is primary winding. Note down the current readings from ammeter I1 and I2 and record in the table. Change the HT current to different values and record the corresponding LT current. Using the formula K is equal to I1 divided by I2, find the transformation ratio K and record it in the tabulation. Verify the transformation ratio with the markings on the nameplate. After watching this video, I hope you will be able to interpret the nameplate details of a single phase transformer, identify HT and LT windings, determine the transformation ratio by the voltmeter and ammeter method. This concludes the exercise on how to verify terminals, identify components and calculate transformation ratio of single phase transformer. Thank you. See you in the next exercise.